Welcome back to the channel. And I really just want to take a moment to take a look at Devontae Adams and how he basically kind of cooked us throughout the, the game last week. And it's not a lot of intense breakdown, but it's really going to be a short video of just how, you know, we gave the number one guy free releases. And then we got in one of the premier receivers in the NFL, let him be one-on-one. -on -one. And you know, we never really doubled him. He was, he got free releases and got easy catches and, just going to go through these these targets and see how he was able to just basically cook us. See him at the top of your screen. Free release. You just turn around and catch the ball. Some of the same stuff that Travis Kelsey did in week one. You give a premier guy free releases, that's, that's an easy eight yards. That's taking candy from a baby. Now he's at the bottom of your screen. And they put uh, Myers in motion. They're going to put it back, bring him back in motion. There's going to be some kind of confusion as to who covering him. Another free release. Just turn around and catch the ball. And you see them kind of, you know, argue about what's going on and who got who with Hamilton and, and Marcus. A, a premier guy getting free releases. He's at the top of your screen now, one-on-one. -on -one. one of the great route runners versus Marlon. It's easy. Easy, a little quick out route. Like, he, not stopping that. Not stopping that at all. Let's go back to that one. See if we can go back to that one. Like I said, top of your screen, just an just a out route. Simple. Simple. Candy from a baby. And and this no that's no shade to Marlon, no shade to to uh B Steve or any other corners we got, but Bunte's premier. That's him coming in motion right there. Nobody's going with him, so we know his own. They know his own. This is a quick out route. Cause look at the leverage. The leverage he had on that that slot defender who is Ardarius. That's too easy. Too easy. Watch, watch when he come in motion. Ardarius never moves, and he ends up with, with Ardarius got inside leverage, so I'm just going to run this out route. There's nobody there. That's simple. This is too easy for a guy of his caliber. Too easy. And they go from second and 10 to third and about two. He's at the bottom of your screen now, one-on-one -on -one with B. Steve. And he's tough to defend the line of scrimmage. Now, I think this was great coverage by Brandon Stevens. I personally think it was great coverage, but because of the reputation of Tay, he going to get calls like that. He's going to get calls like that. Now, that's him coming in motion. Nobody moves so his zone, and he just a check down right here. Um, you know, we did nothing wrong right there. He was a check down. He was the last release. He was release valve. We did nothing wrong on that one. Nothing much we could do on that one. He's at the top of your screen right here. Just a great precision route runner. He know where to get in zones. He know where to sit down in zones. He know, you know, about pace as far as running his routes. And again, nobody's, we don't double, double cover him. We don't brag at him or nothing. We just treat him like a regular guy. And Tay is not a freaking regular guy. Like he's not bracketed or nothing. We just play our zone like his regular zone, like, like they don't have a premier receiver out there. Which is confusing to me. He's at the top of your screen here. He understands great pace. And this is just, this toe drag swag is amazing. Why we wasted a challenge on this, I, I don't know, but <laughs> he's been one of the kings of, of toe drag swag forever. Top of your screen here, one on one, I think, with uh, B Steve. <laughs> Crazy. Lay hands. Like, like we putting B Steve on an island with, with Devontae Adams. And again, no shade on Brandon Stevens. No shade at all on, on B Steve. It's just. Come on, now. What, what are we doing? What, it's one on one. We're one of the best route runners to, to play the game. Oh, that's the toe drag. I went too far. My bad. Went too far. The next one is the, the one on one. Hit the button too many times. Here we go. This is the one-on-one. One-on-one -on -one would, be, would be Steve. Press man. You're not going to jam him too much because his footwork is too good off the line of scrimmage. Late hands. Cooking. Cooking. The plan should the plan should have had to have been better for Devontae. Had to be. He's at the bottom of the screen here versus Marlo. Look, look how he turned Marlo around, man. I mean, he dropped his pass, but, but just look how he turned Marlo around on this slant. Just look. So watch how you turn them all around in this link.
Let me go back to the slant. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. I think this is it right here. I'll just be Steve again. I want the slant. I think this is slant right here. All right. Just watch that. Just turn this dude around. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. But again, no bracket, no double. Just either we playing straight up zone or we playing straight up man. With no real respect to your route running, you know, prowess or whatever. And the aggressiveness right there. Marlo, you got to be tougher than that. And that, that probably was offensive pass interference. I'll give him that. But this right here, this this just, I'm better than you. I'm better than you. Throw you by. What else can we say, man? We, did, we didn't have a real plan for Devontae Adams. We treated him just like a regular guy. We treated him like a jag, just a guy. And he is not just a guy. He is one of the best receivers to ever play this freaking game of football. And we treated him like a, a random screw. And we paid the price for it. Peace.